An infrastructure with 50 VMs has a power outage. After the VMware cluster has booted up again, three large VMs seems to be stuck in a boot loop. Okay, so we have a lot of VMs. There's a power outage. After that, only three of them seem to have a problem. Assuming only the OS installed on the VM OS disk, which method would require the least amount of backup data transfer to allow the VMs to boot? Okay, restore VM files and select only the VM OS disk file for restore. Perform instant VM recovery with quick rollback. This is not a good idea because there was a power outage, right? We shouldn't use quick rollback with power outage. Perform instant VM recovery and overwrite. So this, this, this would bring them up very fast, but I would also have to restore all of the data and they were very large. So it, it would let them boot, but I would have to restore a lot of data. Restore guest files. So here uh, to restore a VM configuration file. So first of all, guest files is for restoring files inside the guest, meaning OS level files, which is probably not gonna help because I could only do that if the VM would boot. It won't, so I can't put the files back in. And secondly, here it says VM configuration files, which is files outside of the guest. So this is definitely a distractor here. So this is no good. This is no good. This is no good. I'm left with restore VM files, which are files outside the guest, right, on the hypervisor level. And then only the VM OS disk file for the restore so that hopefully whatever corruption was um, done based on this power outage, uh, the file will be replaced and hopefully it can boot again.